Oh gosh, oh gosh, I was muted that whole time. Heavens, 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 heavens. All right, thanks guys. I'm sorry. Hello, families. And it's gonna happen at some point, isn't it? Hello, hello to all of our families and students uh, for the New Jersey College um, Association for Admission Counseling Virtual Fair powered by StriveScan. Uh, students, if you have at any point questions for our facilitators, please use that Q&A button at the bottom of your screen and someone will type back a response to you. Your camera and microphone are off and so they can't see or hear you. We have more sessions happening this evening for about an hour after this, so check those out. And this recording will be available at strivescan.com slash New Jersey. All right, so without further ado, I am going to pass this off to our first panelist from Hofstra University. Thank you so much, Kara. I appreciate it. And thank you everybody for attending tonight's virtual fair. My name is Joseph Maroney and I'm a senior assistant dean of admissions at Hofstra University located on Long Island, New York. So we are conveniently located only about a 35 minute train ride away from Manhattan. But my favorite part, we're also only 10 to 15 minutes away from the beach. So if that interests you, go ahead and take that information that you see on your screen down and we will definitely go ahead and make sure that you learn more about Hofstra. But we're gonna just go over a quick overview about what we could offer for you as a college student. Hofstra is very much on Long Island, so it is a suburban setting. So it's very much what you're used to in your hometown in New Jersey. We can give you the college experience that you look forward to during those four years, but we can give you the perks of a city school when you are looking for it. My favorite thing about Hofstra is that we are a medium-sized private university with an average class size of 21 and a student-faculty ratio of 13 to 1. What this means is it allows you to really make those strong connections with your professors, not only inside your classroom, but a really strong support system outside the classroom as well. Our campus is conveniently a suburban setting with one side all dedicated to housing and the other side all dedicated to academics. We do offer 165 undergraduate programs. And when you apply to Hofstra University, you are in fact considered and accepted to all 165. So if you are undecided, we are very undecided friendly. We want you to explore your interest and discover your path. We do have an undergraduate population of just under 7,000 undergrads. So that means we have a lot of people around you to inspire you, but you also have the opportunity to really make that family away from home. Of our almost 7,000 students, we are about 50-50 in state, out of state, and 80% of our first year students will live on campus. We want our students to construct their own path at Hofstra, and you could explore that by doing multiple majors, multiple minors, all within the different schools of our university. Nobody is graduating Hofstra with the same exact transcript, same exact resume. We really want you to really find your passions, your interests, and see how that paired up with your career path down the line. Outside the classroom, we do offer 220 clubs and organizations. So it's really nice to make those connections outside the classroom with those students who are in your major, but also not in your major. Our clubs is a great way for students to get involved. And we really encourage our students to get involved in all of our clubs and organizations uh, that way you can really start seeing where you find yourself at Hofstra. We do have over 21 Division I athletics. We play in the Colonial Athletic Association. All students get free tickets to all of our athletic events. We also do have club and intramural sports. So it's a really great way to share your Hofstra pride with your fellow classmates. We have housing guaranteed all four years for students and cars are for free all four years, free parking, you heard that right. And we do encourage our students to live on campus to really get that undergraduate experience. We have suite style of housing, we have traditional housing, housing based off of living style, major interests. So we will def definitely make sure that you feel comfortable on our campus. Our location, like I mentioned earlier, is not too far from the city. This is great for internships, as well as having professors come from the industry and teach inside your classrooms. As you can see on your screen, we have major Fortune 500 companies listed there, and many students are getting not only one to two internships, but getting their full-time uh, job offer from those locations. We are in Nassau County, so we do have the beach, as well as state parks, all within walking distance. So you really get, as cliche as it is, the best of both worlds. When it comes to applying to Hofstra University, we are a test optional school. We have been for five years. So we just look at things like your SAT scores, maybe if you apply, but more importantly, your GPA, your transcripts and what you're doing inside the classroom at your high school. 
We do encourage our students to reach out to their admissions counselor if you are interested in applying to Hofstra. We have early action deadlines, November 15th and December 15th. Nothing is ever going to bind you to attend Hofstra University. The last thing I wanna leave you with, uh, the main takeaway is Hofstra will definitely get you where you wanna go when it comes to jumpstarting your career and really be having that strong launch pad. 93% of our students are getting a job six months after graduation, but most of our students will go ahead and as you can see over half, get a job before they even graduate from the university. So if you're looking to get a jump start in your career, find yourself, discover your passions and have a lifelong network, I encourage you to apply to Hofstra University. Thank you so much for your time and we look forward to jumpstarting our conversation and being part of your college journey. All right, thank you so much. We will now pass it off to our next institution, Holy Family University. Thank you, Joseph. All right, everybody, so welcome to Holy Family University. Uh, my name is Mark Ferretti. Holy Family University is located in Northeast Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We are approximately 20 minutes outside of Center City, Philadelphia. Uh, Holy Family University academics, we offer a lot of majors. Uh, all of our students are assigned a faculty student advisor within their school of study. Students are required to meet their advisor once a semester. The faculty advisor works with the student to assure, ensure appropriate course selection. First year students work closely with the academic advising center uh, for the first year and receive additional support through one credit first year experience course. We have a 12 to one student faculty ratio. The average classroom size is 16, over 30 academic majors, 20 academic minors, and one-on-one -on -one faculty advising. The Career Development Center offers one-on-one -on -one career planning through both short and long-term action plans. The Director of Career Development offers a six-week workshop during the internship search that competitively covers the internship and job application process. More than 350 students have applied and been placed in internships across 133 different employers. Education majors are required to complete observation and practicum hours in addition to the student teaching semester, which typically falls in their senior year. All nursing and, and radiology students are required to complete clinical as part of, of their curriculum. And we currently have over 50 clinical placement sites. For radiology students, clinical courses begin in the first semester. Clinicals complete classroom learning and help students prepare for entry level practice. Your clinical experience will include rotations in community hospitals, medical centers, and other healthcare facilities, allowing you to develop clinical skills in a wide variety of healthcare settings that meet the needs of diverse populations. For nursing students, our most popular major, Clinical experience will include rotations in a variety of inpatient and outpatient settings, such as specialty hospitals, schools, and clinics. Our student ratio in the clinical setting is never greater than eight students for each faculty member. <clears throat> Building your resume, the Student Engagement Office hosts Welcome Tigers in the first month of school. The purpose of this is to have our students get involved in campus life. For the duration of Welcome Tigers, this is a one event per day. Student Engagement Office hosts events both on and off campus. For any off-campus events, transportation is provided to the university. We currently have over 30 registered student organizations in addition to our major specific honor societies. The Student Engagement Office holds an annual leadership conference. The purpose of this conference is to equip students with the skills needed to excel here at Holy Family and to allow them to build their resume with leadership experience as they approach graduation and begin interviewing for jobs. <clears throat> Affordability. Tuition at Holy Family University has been frozen for the 21-22 year, 31,640. With room and board, additional cost is about 13,241. You of course wanna file your FAFSA on October 1st, and we were voted a lowest net cost university. <clears throat> as far as admissions to Holy Family University, we are test optional. We have started being test optional this year. The average class, the average GPA that we receive is a 3.0 GPA. 
and the average SAT score we receive is a 1030. Some other majors in addition to education and nursing and radiologic sciences, which I mentioned earlier, we also have criminal justice, business, uh, four plus one with our business, psychology as well, all the way four plus two with our psychology program. Holy Family competes in Division II athletics in the CACC conference, and we have many club sports on campus as well. We also grant all of our students access to our fitness center 24 hours a day. When doing your freshman application, you wanna to apply today, we are rolling admissions. You wanna submit your high school transcript, like I mentioned before. We are also a common app school. You can go right to our website, holyfamily.edu and apply. If you're interested in touring campus, we, we offer a virtual tour online, holyfamily.edu, but we are also offering in-person person campus as well. I encourage you to visit our website and reach out to admissions if you have any further questions, or if you would like to explore any visit opportunities, including virtual visits. Thank you. All right, thank you. We will now move on to our next uh, presenter from Hudson County Community College. Okay. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Janine Nunes and I am from Hudson County Community College located in Jersey City, New Jersey. And just give me one minute here so I can get this together. All right. So we're gonna do the 411 on enrollment for Hudson County Community College. We are a two year, like I said, a two year community college. We're located in Jersey City, New Jersey. We issue associate's degrees in uh, arts and sciences, also applied sciences in some majors. We have 60 plus degree and certificate programs. Uh, we have flexibility to take day, evening, weekend, online courses. And we've also been doing virtual or Zoom classes, which I believe are here to stay. A lot of our students like it. So we are flexible. We fit into your schedule, into your lifestyle. We have a lot of support going on now with Hudson due to the pandemic. Uh, before the pandemic, we had academic support services, of course, advisement and counseling, disability to support, career services, tutorial. And we also have Hudson Helps and Hudson Cares. A lot of our students, unfortunately, did not have the technology when we went virtual and college was able to provide them with Chromebooks and hotspots so the students could continue successfully with their education. Getting into a community college is very, very easy. You apply and you're accepted. And once you are accepted, then you have to determine your placement. And at Hudson, you can either take the college placement test, which is the AccuPlacer, or you can do now what's called self-directed placement. You take a brief survey and you read the course descriptions, and then you determine where you wanna place yourself. Maybe you're not a good test taker, but you know you do very well in class. So this would might be an option for you. Also at Hudson, if you have a 3.0 GPA or higher, then you do not need to take the college placement test. I know a lot of you have not been able to take SATs, so we're not even gonna talk about them tonight. Okay, financial aid is available at Hudson. We accept the Pell Grant and of course, the New Jersey TAG. And we also have different scholarships that the College Foundation offers. And one thing about going to a community college in the state of New Jersey is we all participate in what is called the Community College Opportunity Grant. And that is for any family or any household that makes $65,000 or less and qualifies for financial aid. So what basically this is, is whatever Pell and TAG in New Jersey do not pay for, this will pay for. It's considered a last dollar grant and it's enabling a lot of our students to continue or to start their education. These are some of our resources that we would have if you were going to apply to Hudson. Again, it's extremely easy. You apply. This is our promo code HC3, which waives your uh, college application fee, excuse me. 
One benefit about coming to a community college is you have the opportunity to transfer into a four-year school. So if you're a New Jersey resident and some of those schools that are on this presentation now or schools that you saw tonight, you can do your two years at your community college and then have the opportunity to transfer into your four-year school of your choice or your dreams. And sometimes you can save yourself a lot of money that way. All right. And then these are just another websites and that you can reach out to if you have any questions. And we do have an open house coming up, uh, gonna be in person in May. We're very excited. We're gonna be doing it outside in our beautiful culinary park. So hopefully uh, you can join us. Thank you very much. All right, great. We will now move on to our next presenter from Huston University. Hi, um, so not to get confused with Hudson, uh, we are Hudson. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen now. Oops. Okay. So we are located in Bangor, Maine. Um, that's very north. I'm sorry, I'm not sure why my computer is very slow today. Sorry about that. So we are Hudson University. We're located in Bangor, Maine. So it's pretty up north. We're about, I want to say an hour from Canada. And if you want to drive from either New York or Jersey, it's about eight to nine hour drive. Uh, we are a very large campus with 2,800 undergraduate students with an average class size of about 18. Our biggest class size is about 23 students. And with a class size with 15 to one student to faculty ratio, our faculty actually knows the students very well. So they're very familiar with the students. Um, they're always available for when the students need help. And all of our professors are non-traditional. What that means is that they are what they teach. For example, all of our nursing professors are actual nurses where they worked in clinics and hospitals with patients. Um, so we're trying to give the same experience to all of our students as well. And uh, we are one of the lowest tuition campuses uh, with about 31,000, including dorm. Uh, we are divided into four sections. So our first section is our College of Business. We are the largest college of business in Maine with a five-year MBA option. And the picture you see, it's actually a new building that is uh, currently in the process of finish, finishing. Uh, they'll be opened in fall of 2021. Oops. And we also have a new uh, major coming in. It is our virtual reality major, also known as XR. So that will also be introduced in 2021. Um, so far, it was just processed, I want to say this morning, so it's very new. It's about 42,000 square feet, so it'll be a really big uh, building for all of our business majors. Our second section is College of Science and Humanities, where we have our biology, psychology, as well as our pre-programs, such as pre-med, pre-vet, and pre-dental. As some of you may know, pre-courses are not the full courses. You do would need to go to an actual, let's say, medical school or veterinarian school to actually finish your degree. But if you do choose, let's say psychology, you can apply to grad school within Hudson University and go directly into grad school. So it's a very easy transition from undergrad to graduate. Our next section is our College of Health and Pharmacy. This is where we have our nursing, pharmacy, PT, and OT students. And these are our most in-demand courses, nursing being the most popular course. And we do have a cap of 108 seats per semester. Our pharmacy, PT, and OT do cap at 75 students per semester. Right now, they're still open for the fall 2021, uh, but pharmacy is coming to a close very soon. And nursing is also filling up. So if any students do want any of these courses for fall of 2021, it'd be best to apply now. Um, deadlines for these are usually January 1st, but because of COVID guidelines, we did extend it. Other than that, besides these courses, we are rolling admission, so you can apply anytime. Our last um, is our New England School of Communications. 
So this is also known as Nescom, where we have our audio engineering and visual music production, post-production. We have all the equipment that students need or need to use for their assignments. All of our computers are no, long, no more than five years old. So we have all the latest technologies for our students. We also have a TV studio, a film studio, a radio booth, and basically anything that you can think of that you need for, let's say, your music production. So we also have sound studios, um, acoustic rooms, and all of the computers. Uh, this is our lab. Uh, it's about 10 minutes off campus. Um, this is very, uh, dedicated to our uh, mostly nursing, PT, OT, and forensic science students. So we do have simulation dummies where they actually either give birth or um, the students use the simulation dummies to practice on them as if they're real humans. And for our forensic science students, um, all of our professors kind of make a crime scene for our students um, just to make them have fun. And it just makes them makes learning a lot easier for them when they see fake blood on the floor. Our life on campus, this is our Dickerman dining hall. We do have chefs on campus, so they will be making the food for you. Uh, it's an all you can eat buffet kind of meal plan and everything will be included in your tuition if you choose to uh, do so. We also have like dessert bars. Every day is a different dessert. Our dorm rooms, we are co-ed by floor. So boys one floor, girls another floor. We also have condo like housing. These are really for our juniors and seniors so they could get a little more experience and a little more privacy if they do decide to choose the condo like dorms. We have our recreational areas, gyms. Um, we have almost all of the major sports. Uh, we do not have wrestling. Uh, we have cheerleading, but it's not a sport, it is a club. And we do have over 50 clubs. We also have study abroad programs to over 23 countries. Our Student Forest Success Center, uh, this is where we give you free career services and anything you need to go forward in your career. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. All right. Thank you so much. I do believe um, that we, I, I think, have our representative from IE University here now. Can, is that right? Um, Nakia, is that, is who, um, someone might be here. I'm not sure who they're with. Okay. All right, then we will move on to Harrisburg University of Science and Technology. Thank you, Kara. Hi, everyone. My name is Jordan Sneevely. I work with Harrisburg University of Science and Technology. And my screen is up now. I think, hold on one second. <laughs> All right, great. So Harrisburg, Harrisburg University of Science and Technology, we are a smaller private school located in central PA, uh, just about two hours west of Philadelphia. We do also have a Philadelphia campus, more of a commuter campus, but students from New Jersey can come to that school uh, as long as they live within a pretty close distance of the campus and willing to commute there daily for their classes. As far as the Harrisburg campus in general, it is one building totally dedicated to the academics. We are currently in the middle of building an additional building to our campus that will be uh, about 17, 19 stories high, dedicated to the health sciences as well as advanced manufacturing. All of our majors that we have are all going to be on the realm of science and technology. So no liberal arts, no performing arts, no creative arts or anything like that. Um, everything having to do with geospatial technology, computer and information sciences, information systems and information technology, management entrepreneurship and business administration, game design, uh, pre-med, forensics, really anything along that realm. We do have 11 different majors with over 30 different concentrations, probably a lot less than most schools that you do see. But again, we are a smaller private school, so we don't have um, as many majors and we are newer, so we're developing new majors all the time. 
So as far as some of the places our students have worked or completed internships at, you see a bunch of logos in front of you that you're probably either familiar with, have seen, or um, maybe a couple that you haven't seen. We do have a 91% placement rating. So that does mean within six months after graduation, 91% of our students do get into uh, into their field in some way within uh, six months again. Um, we do also require all of our students to complete some kind of internship prior to graduation. It is 135 credit hours. Some of them are paid, some of them are not paid, some of them turn to job opportunities. It really just depends on what capacity you do get placed into these places, but we do get our internships through student services, career services, as well as just resources that our professors have. So as far as the housing that we have at the Harrisburg campus, because the Philly campus is a commuter school only, everything is gonna be apartment style dorm. So fully functioning kitchen, um, bedroom space, living space, bathroom spaces. So no communal bathrooms, no communal kitchens or anything. You'll, you'll have those in your own individual apartment or dorm as you will. Typically freshmen will be living with uh, three other people up to six other people, but we do have doubles, we have triples, four and six person. All of the housing is, uh, there's wireless internet access that's included in your amenities. There's common laundry facilities. Uh, we do house students in four different buildings. All the buildings have different amenities. Some of them having tennis courts, some of them have three parking lots, some of them also have a pool. So um, these are just a couple pictures of the different places that we do have. The layout that you see is typically what you will see with two people that um, living space is typically sacrificed into a second bedroom space and then the two roommates will share just that kitchen, dining, and bathroom space. So as far as what we have at our campus, we are again newer, not as big, so we haven't established any NCAA sports at this time. However, we do have there over, we have over 30 plus student run clubs and activities student run meaning you can come to our campus and you can um, start a club if you don't see something that you're interested in. Um, we do have some intramural teams. Uh, you see a couple of the clubs that are listed underneath. Like I mentioned earlier, we don't have any liberal arts, performing arts or creative arts, but whatever we don't have as a major, we will have as some kind of activity. Um, college life in general at Harrisburg University at both campuses, you will have a very urban feel. They are located right in the middle of two cities. The campuses are. Um, except Harrisburg is gonna be a much smaller city than Philadelphia. Um, same kind of diversity, you'll have um, tons of different food options, walking distance to a lot of different things. And we are very close to Hershey, Lancaster and Gettysburg. Um, so Hershey Park, a lot of students do go there sometimes. So the biggest thing that we always like to uh, tell students when we are doing presentations is that every single student will get some kind of scholarship prior to graduation. So scholarships are based on your high school GPA and they're awarded to you every single year as long as you stay in good academic standing. Our tuition has been frozen at 23,900 for the last eight years. So um, even if you get that lowest scholarship, that $11,000 per year, you are cutting your tuition costs in half. If you are planning to live on campus, we're estimating about 7,000 7, extra dollars in cost. So about 30,000, um, like I said, even if you get an HR distinction scholarship or whatever it might be, that is gonna be 13,000 a year. It is cutting your cost in half and then whatever um, financial aid might get stacked on top of that uh, will, will be awarded as well. And we do take third party scholarships also. I talked about internships talked about job placement. We do have small class sizes. General education classes are typically gonna be about 25 to 30. Uh, major specific courses will be about seven to 13. We are typically looking for 2.75 GPA or higher. We don't require SATs or ACT scores, but we will um, look at those scores if you do send them. Our application is free. We're available on the Common App um, or you can apply directly through us. We, once we get your high school transcripts, we'll typically get your decision within 48 hours. I mean, for, yeah, that is correct. And then this is just my information. I have to wrap it up. I know I went a little bit over, um, but feel free to reach out to me. I will typically get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Thank you, Kara. All right, thank you everyone.
Uh, we do have a, a little bit of time here. So I do have a couple of questions for our reps. If you wanna pop those cameras on, um, we will ask just two questions for everyone here. Um, and we'll be starting uh, with Hofstra. And uh, same question for everyone. Uh, wondering what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? So I would definitely say utilize the fact that you have a lot more technology at your hands going through the college process. By that I mean, I don't think you ever would have thought of every university having multiple virtual options now. That is the good thing of the pandemic, I would say. So going into your college search, definitely utilize the technology resources you have at your hand. So virtual tours, virtual settings, virtual college fairs like this, but also de definitely check out their social media. It's a really great way for you to see what's going on campus on the day-to-day -day times when you're not giving a, walking on campus at a tour. So use technology as your resource. That'd definitely be my, rec my recommendation. Great, holy family. Yeah, just to piggyback off that, um, don't eliminate anybody off of your list. Um, kind of give everybody a shot, big, small, do virtual visits, in-person visits as much as you can um, and kind of explore what you think will be best for you and, and where you see yourself and what will be the best fit for you. Fit, fit is kind of everything. And Hudson Community College. I agree with uh, the two gentleman that just spoke, basically use your technology that you can. Uh, it's going to allow you to go places that you probably never could uh, or, you know, couldn't afford to go and try to get on to as many campuses as you can. If you've never been to a big school, try to find a big school close to you. Visit and see if you like it. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you. And Hassan University. Definitely agreeing with everyone else. Um, I also encourage students to go ahead and visit the campus because Hudson is really far. It's very close to Canada. A lot of students are discouraged to even look at that campus um, because they look at the driving distance, but definitely go to the college. Um, we are doing virtual info sessions instead of just going onto campus. But if you can make it onto campus, you can also meet our professors. So all, all of our professors actually have a lot of uh, influence on our students. And Harrisburg. So I would definitely say to be mindful of the environments that you thrive in. Uh, a lot of students don't realize that some colleges have big classrooms in their general education classrooms. And a lot of my students that I happen to run in don't do well in classrooms of more than 30. Um, so just be mindful of what you learn in now. Can you do something bigger than that? Would you prefer something smaller? and also make sure you complete your financial aid. There are so many hidden things in there that you don't understand, but ask for help. I know if I could do it all over again, I absolutely would, um, even though I loved my college experience. Um, I didn't go to Harrisburg University, but um, I would definitely just check out all my expenses and budgeting if I could do it all over again. All right, and last question for the group. What is your favorite event or tradition on campus? We will start with Hofstra. So we do this thing at Hofstra called our holiday light the ceremony. And it's really nice because it really encapsulates how Hofstra's campus is very diverse. So we'll actually do a lighting ceremony for every single holiday that our student population actually represents when it comes to the uh, celebrations that they have, whether it be the celebration of lights, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas, things like that. Uh, so it's a really nice way for the whole university to come together. Students can see their you know, celebrations represented, but also enjoy the fact that Hofstra really is uh, made up of so many different types of cultures and walks of life. So it's really a great way to have a break from finals and everything like that during that time of the year, but more importantly, really just to see what our campus truly looks like um, in different ways. So that's probably one of the best traditions that we have at Hofstra. And Holy Family. We have a very similar tradition uh, that I'm a big fan of. It's called Christmas Rose. It's just at the end of about the first semester. And it's kind of a formal dinner, formal mass, um, and the celebration kind of of the 
uh, end of the semester and Christmas holidays starting. And Hudson Community College. Yeah, well, since we are a commuter college, uh, trying to keep the students on campus, we've done what's called open mic night. And there's a lot of great things that go on spoken word, uh, songs, comedy, and it, you just get to see the talents and the students and just how much fun that they can have and how talented they are and creative they are. So I think that's one of my favorites. And Hassan University? Um, I actually work remote, so I'm not quite too sure about all of the events that they do have on campus. Um, I do know that they have a like, very large pep rally like they have in the movies. Um, that's what I was told, so the pep rallies, and I know they have concerts in the summer. And Harrisburg. So we don't have too, too many traditions just because we are newer. However, I will say that we have started our Q Fest, which is Harrisburg. Um, it's, it's a Harrisburg University Festival that we run, we run typically in the August, September, um, during the very first few weeks of the semester. Typically we're celebrating our esports team. We are a big esports school. So we have tons of games, activities. It's, some of it's outside, some of it's indoors. Um, this is a big thing. A lot of my students, because I work in the Philly area, um, typically take the train to go to. So it is something that everyone can really come together and just do as one. All right, thank you all for sharing all of uh, your fun facts and all about your university's students. Um, as you click out and exit from this webinar, there will be a quick four question survey. We really appreciate it when you answer that for us. Also, there are sessions happening at the top of the next hour. So one more for New Jersey this evening. And this session was recorded and available at strivescan.com slash New Jersey. Thank you so much everyone for joining us this evening and have a nice night. Bye, thank you. Thank you, bye-bye.